single line. Open the line toolbar and select line. Left click. Make sure you have the grid snap on and left click to select the first point. Left click to select the end point. One more time. Left click. But this time we are going to type 3. Type 3. Hit enter. And that locks the length of the line. You can change it to maybe 2. Hit enter. And now we can place the end of the line. One more time. Left click. Make sure you turn on Orto. So there we have 90 degrees, 0, 270, and 180. Line segments. Make sure to right click, right click. Select the start. Go up, left click, left click, make sure you have Orto and the grid snap on, left click, left click, one more, left click, close. Select any one of them. They are single lines. So you can drag, drag one more. Perfect. The polyline. Left click, left click. Select the origin. Change the mode to line. Go up. Change the mode to arc. Select the center and the end of the arc. Switch to line. Let me pan just a little bit. Draw the end. Switch to arc. Select the center, the center by there, the end of the arc, switch to line, and continue with line. Left click, left click, left click, one more and close. If you select, notice this is a single close polyline. Line from midpoint. Open up the lines toolbar. There you have it. Left click to select and select the midpoint. If you go 10 units to the right, it goes 10 units to the left. Switch to the front viewport. One more time. From the midpoint. Make sure you have the midpoint or snap on. Select the midpoint, go up, left click. Switch to the right, midpoint, there. Switch to perspective, 
zoom is 10. And there you have your three lines. Draw a sphere. Right click, shade it, center it. Now select line normal to surface. Select the sphere and select any point on top of the sphere, and you can draw a line normal to that point. Repeat it, select the sphere, select a point, select the end point. There we have two lines. How about line vertical to the construction plane? Select left click line vertical select the origin select the end let me repeat it one more time the start and the end these lines are vertical to the construction plane If you saw some tooltips, let me show you how you can turn them on. Select Properties. Under Rhino Options, select Modeling Aids. Open that. And there you find your tooltips. So, it is up to you to enable it or disable it. I like to have those three. Hit OK. And let's see if this is working. Draw a line. Select the start point, and there you see the tooltips. You have the distance, the relative distance, and also turn off the ortho. Turn it off, and there you see the angle. 45 degrees. So let me go back. File, Properties, Tooltips, and now you know where to turn it on and off. Okay.